Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Jovenel Narcisse. For today's video, I'm going to feature and present to you an update of my naked and famous Elephant X Indigo in Word GI Cut with size 29. The actual waist size is 32 inches. I bought this jeans brand new from the online store of blueowlclothing.com, which is based in Seattle, Washington, USA. I think I paid 200 US dollars for the jeans, and it was sent to the Philippines through my shipping forwarder, Johnny Air Cargo Plus, and I paid very minimal amount for the shipping and import taxes. I think the amount was about 1,500 pesos, or 25 US dollars. These jeans had been in my salvage denim collection for the past two years. The weight of the fabric is 20 ounces per square yard and it is categorized as a heavyweight salvage denim. It is made of 100% cotton and of course this jeans is made in Canada. As it is my first salvage denim jeans from Naked and Famous, I base the sizing measurements on their website description of their weird guy cut and I was satisfied and I was satisfied that it fitted me perfectly. The weird guy cut has a comfortable hips and upper thigh and it has a tapered fit from knees to the hem. It has an inseam of 35.5 inches and I had to double cuff to fit my inseam of 29 to 30 inches. After the year 3 Indigo Invitational Denny Fade competition, I needed a bridge pair to be used while waiting for the start of the year 4 Indigo Invitational that would start on January 1st 2024. So I selected these jeans as my bridge pair. It was on the second week of July 2023 that I started using these jeans without any soap. I wanted to experiment on this procedure as most of my salvage denim jeans were made to be soaked before using them. It was starchy and stiff when I used it on the first day and it eventually started to break in after one or two weeks of daily wear. Since then, I have been using the jeans as casual wear in the house and in doing some errands outside my house premises. I even use it in my meetings with friends as a casual wear. It also use, I also use it as my sleeping wear most of the time. I never use these jeans for backyard and manual or heavy works except for brief hiking or walking in my backyard and around the house. To remove the dust from the fabric, I would use shoe brush to clean the fabric if I observe that there is some dust developing on the fabric. To be exact, I have used this pair for six months out of the seven months passed since July of last year. This, this video is made to show how these jeans look like before I will have it soaked for the first time and then wash it by hand. As you can see, my daily usage for this past six months produced these whiskers on the front torso or hips portion and some lines on the front part of the upper thigh. These whiskers appear as electric blues or lines where the blue indigo color is in contrast with the dark blue original color of the fabric. There are, the knees have loosened and there are whiskers forming on the sides as shown from the stretch nature of the fabric. There are also some whiskers within the vicinity of the hem or lower opening to the jeans. Actually, these are breaks on the leg and portion which are created when wearing my boots or sneakers. On the butt portion, 
there is so much fading going on and the back pockets show impressions on the wallets and handkerchief that are inside the pockets. I have a medallion which is placed on the left back pocket and the impression of the medallion is very distinct. The right back pocket has my cash and ID card wallet. It is very impressive to see the fading going on that portion of the pocket. The back of the knees show a lot of whiskers, which I think are very impressive as a result of a tighter size of the tapered portion of the knees and the lower leg to the hem or opening of the legs. Some breaks or whiskers are also visible on the hem area. Overall, I am very happy with the developments being made to the fa fabric as shown by the honeycombs, whiskers, breaks, and stretch nature of some parts of the jeans. Actually, the jeans became looser in the waist, upper thighs, knees, and the hem due to the fact that it had been used on a regular basis. I am sure the fades and contrasting lines, whiskers, combs, and breaks will appear soon after its first soak and wash. I will make a video on the soaking and washing process soon. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Click that notification bell for my updates and if you have any comments, please write down below in the comments section. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.